Hello, everyone. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. Welcome to the Aquarius Solar Festival webinar of the 2025 initiative. My name is Alexander, and I welcome you on behalf of the 2025 Initiative Coordination Group. The work of the initiative is an experimental in its nature. And with each next phase of unfoldment of our work, we listen to what is the next task ahead of us. And we welcome you in this space of shared group listening, group experiment, and group meditation. And to start our work today, let's have an alignment coming together as one group, gather it in a circle. Let's align inwardly. We recognize ourselves as soul, gather it together. in the intergroup space, in the circle, linked with light, love, and will to good. We visualize the heart center of our group. About 60 of us gathered here today. And from our group heart center, we project the line of lighted energy, beam of light upwards, linking with the heart center of the spiritual hierarchy of the planet. And we ask for their support and guidance in our work today. And we will focus in our group center. 
and we open to our journey today exploring the potencies of Aquarius energies how they relate to group work and today our guests our presenters uh, is a triangle from the Moscow Zeteric group Sergei Smirnov, Leo Zipkovets, and Katya Kaufman. And we invite them to share their understanding, their insights, and their experience working with the theme of etheric living as they come from the country of the seventh ray, soul on the seventh ray. They have their unique access to this energy and the, this country works on the energy of Aquarius. So we invite them to share and uh, um, lead us in the meditation later today. So we'll start with the presentation, then there will be a, a time of questions and the meditation. And just before I invite uh, our guests to start the sharing, I want to uh, say that as an experiment today, we uh, invited two more groups to form a triangle with the Moscow Zeteri group for our webinar, uh, holding the space and meditation, uh, meditative reflection on the topic of etheric living. Uh, it's the uh, Hekal group from Jerusalem and the Hamsa group from Australia. And they will be invited to open our question section in our webinar. And now I want to invite Katja uh, Kaufman, who's been a member of the Moscow Literary Group for a long time, to introduce the group and uh, open the journey. Should I say from the very beginning? <laughs> um, yes, um, I'm very grateful for this unique opportunity to be part of um, our group. It was, um, it started its work more than 25 years ago. And um, it's been um, a long and challenging journey. But um, in many ways, I feel the group has done pioneering work because it is true, if you do live in a country which soul is on the seventh ray and personality on the sixth ray, there are certain dedication and uh, poured forth intention to bring that spiritual life and make it your everyday living. And um, I think that is the way that the group sees its goal to make this amazing ageless wisdom teaching a canvas, a foundation for our everyday living not only for grown-ups, but also for our kids, because uh, through those 25 years, many people who started with the group had families, they had children, and those children were rounded around the group. So we had to create a special form of esoteric education for children to make them understand esoteric principles in a very simple way how a two-year-old or five-year-old or ten-year-old can understand and use in their life because for children if something is not practical it's it's being lost pretty fast um, and i'm welcome my uh, sergey and leo just to come in you know whenever if they feel they have something to add to what I'm saying. So it will be more of a conversation rather than uh, a lecture. 
And um, so we have uh, children who already grew up and have the children of their own. We have basically third generation esoteric um, layer of the group. And not all of them are becoming, you know, scholars in esoteric teaching, but all of them understand the subtle principles that rule and guide our living. And uh, all of them understand that if they want to solve the issue, they don't need to look in depth and work with a group because there are certain issues that cannot be solved by a person individually. The energies that are coming in, the energies of the seventh ray, the energies of will that seventh ray deals with in Aquarius brings in, they require the group foundation. And um, as I see, it would be very useful for our colleagues to see how a practicing esoteric group does its work. First and foremost, of course, it's the realization that the group is not the collective people who gathered together. It is a unit. The same way that individually we are in theoric beings. Same as a group. So therefore, group has centers. Tibetan, um, he writes, he gives references to this throughout the books. But uh, when it comes to etheric work, there is a strict uh, rule coming from him not to make any compilations on that. And uh, later on, I will ask specifically Sergei to, to confirm why is there with that. So people who want to study it, it's best that they'll study on their own, looking for their own guidance. But when it comes to certain quotes, I think we can allow ourselves. In, uh, there's a lot of references in Treaties on Cosmic Fire. And uh, on page 985, he writes, the white magician, as, he, as has been earlier said, works entirely through the greater diva builders and through sound and numbers, he blends their work and thus influences the lesser builders who form the substance of their bodies and therefore of all that is. He works through group centers and vital points of energy and from thence produces in substance the desired results. When we hear those words, of course, DK is talking about the initiate of a very high degree. But as above, so below. We cannot say much about those things because at, the, at this level, it, it requires long studying and even more longer practicing. It, um, but even if we have an opportunity to touch upon that subject, it would be beneficial because again, the energies that are coming with which we're trying to work not trying, but which we're approaching, we do need to approach as a group. Mm -hmm. Sergei, um, would you please tell a little bit why is it important for us to work through the group centers? Or should I start um, should we start from the beginning? How do we how do we visualize them? Sirosha, your microphone is off. 
Can you please unmute yourself? Okay. Um, if you want to understand each other and uh, you are sure that you are understanding each other, if you are using group centers, as show our many years practice, uh, you understand each other totally, absolutely. Especially when you are using Africa body, for example, heart center, who connects us with uh, heart center of the group. Uh, even if you don't understand the situation just in a moment, the engine of group center helps the engine of your center, heart center, to understand it later. And uh, you are not talking, addressing uh, personalities. You addressing group center, especially heart center, or if we are talking about seed groups and special work, for example, education, you are using special centers, visualize, visualizing them. For example, if you are talking about uh, upbringing, it means throat center, head center, and Arjun Center, you visualizing them, and the home group is visualizing them too. So the engine of which helps uh, are bringing work, which helps and bringing work, it will um, gives us possibility to understand properly everything which we want to convey each other. That's why we are talking only through group center. And uh, the mediator who is, uh, is the guardian of the voice, if somebody begin to talk from personality to a personality, immediately corrects him with the words, please talk through group centers. That's why the many years practice uh, made this work uh, automatically, uh, automatical, and uh, this helps not to argue about esoteric values, about points of view, and uh, such thing as quarrels. We avoid totally. That's why we use group centers uh, throughout our conversations in my life i am talking to people on the through, through group centers even if i'm addressing as they think to their personality i'm talking only to group centers that helps me to understand uh, to be understandable and to understand the other uh, soul and to be connected through group soul to the alaya, our whole soul. Uh, Sirius, mm -hmm. uh, can you give an example of talking through the group uh, centers? Just demonstrate us uh, and tell how you do that practically. And practically, uh, you are visualizing uh, seven centers seven centers and uh, in the middle there is a disc which um, means uh, heart center three points over it throat center ajna center uh, head center below three points of light mm, solar plexus sacral center and uh, base center and uh, there is asterisk because uh, between heart center and solar plexus because solar plexus center is twin center 
there is uh, additional point which through meditation connects uh, solar plexus center and heart center in one. Uh, there is special medita meditation, first and second meditation, which gives us possibility to connect these two centers in as in in one. And uh, when I am visualizing this, I am the angel of these centers. They are activated because they want to serve. They desire that most of all. And uh, they immediately understand that they are in play and they connected them, the heart centers and all other centers uh, of the ring pass knot which I visualize. And all the members of the group are connected. That's why when I'm addressing the heart center, heart center is always group center. Uh, it, connects us with the soul of group and immediately uh, we are as we are connected now in uh, webinar they are connected it is webinars of our hearts and we understand each other so deeply as never you can be when you are talking personality uh, personal person to person and you should uh, know that person is totally against esoteric work before you are personality yes against esoteric work because uh, the cells of our personality uh, they are basically thinking only about themselves so they are totally against it. and when you connect each other uh, with uh, such visualization they are still and silent and are not against what's going on. But if you're using their energy, trying to make group work, they immediately oppose this situation. Only when you are initiate of great, of uh, high degree, the, your cells begin to participate but uh, before that they are they are posing so if we are connecting ourselves through heart center throat center head center maybe special needs you use some combination of centers uh, mostly heart center it is gives us uh, possibility to be, to understand each other and uh, to talk very shortly, conveying the idea. Yes, mm -hmm. you wanted to. All right, Sirius, when you are talking now uh, to us as a group, are you addressing the group through the group center? And which of the Call, centers are, are you? Uh, focusing. I'm visualizing us as a ring pass knot inside each, inside uh, that uh, circle. There are many, 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 many uh, ethereal bodies which are connected to our group center, uh, group centers, and that's that's why I'm addressing head center because you said about will to good about love heart, heart center and light throat center so we use these three centers so i'm addressing to these three centers but if you will begin to talk about money i will add uh, more heart center if we will talk about common common behavior i will add Manipura Center. If we will talk about such special work as sex, I will add Sacral Center. So uh, you can uh, use these uh, ideas uh, every time you are talking about. This uh, helps you to economize no, 100, 100 times 
uh, according to usual mm -hmm. people uh, efforts to be understandable yes and um what i notice is that you mentioned about no quarrels in the group and uh, i would attest to that because in the beginning of the work there was always oppositions people had their own opinion they um, sort of hit the agenda but the group started to work through the group centers the work did streamline and um i realized that Sometimes uh, when the group, and the group does bring in discussion of very complicated issues. So I realized that sometimes, not necessarily our group, uh, but um, any group can encounter uh, the issue or the subject that would be too hard to discuss. And uh, and uh, people cannot tolerate that issue at all and uh, even sometimes it seems like it's something very net neutral yet still the group cannot go into that so why do you think it could be could it be um, the um, the karmic weight behind the issue um the ability of the group to work through without being affected deeply and uh, how do you work how do you work when you encounter the subject that it is too early for the group to take on so to speak uh, you see uh, if we will talk about difficult subjects such as money such as uh, difficulties of humanity in using uh, divine energy trying to uh, transmit it to three lower uh, kingdoms of nature you immediately will be attacked by powers of materialism which will prevent this discussion so you should be protected and uh, when you discuss this for example in full moon days you are totally protected so you can talk about this free but uh, in usual time uh, these uh, energies they will uh, make you connection in a group uh, and uh, when you will talk uh, about difficult difficulties and and unjustice and injustice uh, this can be taken as your personal point of view but if you will talk through group centers it will be unpersonal mm -hmm. that's why it helps you to avoid these difficulties because powers of dark cannot uh, prevent unpersonal work they don't feel it so the more unpersonal you are mm -hmm. the more free you are in discussion and um, when your feelings are more high than body of body of astral atma astral manada astral uh, you are you avoid uh, mm -hmm. you avoid collision collisions yes collisions with these powers so this helps you 
this knowledge and uh, practice helps you uh, to discuss free uh, and uh, on high level. Uh, it's also, difficult to talk to talk on these topics because the space is not prepared for such discussion discussions and we are what we are doing it's a pioneer work on this topic yeah as your initiative preparing the way that means that you're sending energy ahead to prepare this idea of 2025 that we are thinking about it we are they are gathering special energies which we will use when this time will come and the same happens now they are making a way on etheric issues uh, for people who without this preparing will not be able even think on it, not only discuss free, but it will be so uskalzayushi, elusive. Fleeting, elusive, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, elusive. You, you, you mentioned that sending energy forward, so if the group is encountering something that it cannot take on, you know, there is not enough inner reserve and uh, enough maybe integration group integration or group up so can uh, the group potentiate um that issue how do how do you do that how do you potentiate uh, the energy that? i understand the energy follows thought and uh, the energy follows our uh, silent thought as which we call intention so when i uh, understand that energy is coming i ask her to go forward and uh, through visualization and uh, penetrate into my future for it it's obvious how it will look like because for these energies our life is everlasting now and what i'm thinking the future for them it is now so i'm asking them to put this uh, energy of uh, service into my way personality group way into my karma and group karma so it will be more plasticny so it's better to say well, my oh. karma will be more uh, prepared for work, mm -hmm. not so hard. Hmm? It's not so hard, digestible, more flexible. But more flexible. Yes, yeah. yes. And uh, the energy of uh, my soul will be more bright. And uh, uh, if you are working with very hard topics as karma community, I ask my will be more powerful and uh, karma community more отвечающий, more responsive. More responsive, yes. That uh, helps, that helps uh, uh, me to work with that uh, before, uh, when I'm coming to this time, the situation become be, will become more prepared for that. So it's like preparing uh, the soil, right? It's similar to preparing yeah. the soil in spring. So when by the time the seed, the you know, the frost will come, it will be more ready. Yeah. Yes, yes, totally, totally. It's like gardening. Totally. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. And because I'm using this practice for more than 25 years, so the initiate knows when it works. So uh it is very very uh practical work yes if you prepare your future journey if you prepare your future discussion if you prepare hard topic about how to 
divide money, divide energy, divide uh, responsibility. Uh, you will be always better, live better uh, when you are not making such preparative work. Um, and uh, there is a comment, like there's a question on the way from Risa. Um, she's asking, who is he asking to do this? So who uh, who you are invoking, what <sighs> to do this work for you? The energy which is coming now, Aquarius energy, it is uh, totally self-conscious, uh, super-conscious energy. I am addressing this energy. Okay, but if, if, you, if you're not, if you're not in the in the high potency moment of uh, Aquarius full moon, then what do you do? Uh, I am um, I'm using the volume, um, mental volume. Uh, in which I ask this energy to come, so I can use this energy not only during full moon, but after it. And I can combine these energies for special work works mm -hmm. uh, in the future, not only in the moment of uh, full moon. So if we prepare these uh, volumes, 12 volumes, you can combine these energies especially in special years, for example, 14th year uh, or 2000, the year millennium, 2000 year, which uh, made the way for 25 year. So if I'm addressing these energies, uh, I know what will be for 25 year, and I sometimes correct with these energies my ideas about what I should do in the future, because these energies are very, very uh, fast seeing. Okay. Um, thank you, Sirioza. Uh, just um, now, I would like to ask you, and maybe Leo can uh, be part of that. You know, if what is the etheric living? How do you? practice etheric living if of course with understanding that words can cannot say much because there is no there is no conscience right on this level yes yes it's uh, very important to know that there is no such thing as conscience on etheric levels for example on buddha level you cannot explain what it is you cannot explain what is atma you can practice it, but you cannot explain, especially Manadi, because Manadi living is totally out of our sphere. And you can only ask it to come and to participate in our life, but you cannot understand it. You can't how percept. You need group centers for that, because at uh, Manadi energy is so uh, powerful, so potent have such great potency that can dissolve us totally. That's why we need group centers to protect us from potency of monadic level of of being. That's why uh, we need group group for work the energy of purpose, the energy of being. And uh, so when uh, we are talking about our etheric, usual etheric levels. We are talking about activities. Uh, this means that you can uh, tune with these energies. Um, uh, some of us have uh, vrajdyonne, как это? Innate. Hmm? Innate. Yes innate uh, knowledge how to use it and he tune in other people uh, how to use the fourth ifr because uh, you cannot come to fourth if because there is a veil which 
separated it from usual living. Most people using cell energies, not energy of uh, chakras, etheric chakras. They use energies of um, cells. They uh, uh, use such word as must. You are squeezing yourself, energy goes out, and you use this energy in your everyday living. But when you uh, tune in the fourth ether, uh, you uh, know how to, you ask, it is a being, it is, it is, uh, Deva is not elemental, it has conscious uh, on its level, it, it is uh, self-conscious being. So it will um, it will fill you with energy and uh, you connect with um, yourself with this uh, entity for Ifa, with Deva of this level through, through intention. You intend it to come and it respond to the intention and you through these energies using this energy and uh, uh, you explaining through using this energy uh, with your needs and uh, deva it, it it wants to serve it always wishes to show, to serve and if only you give permission and uh, the deva understands that you can use its energies uh, uh, safely, uh, you have uh, connection and uh, cooperation. There is no veil between uh, third and fourth ether, but between uh, second and third uh, ether, there is another veil. There is rents. And you can use them. Uh, the, this rent between second ether and third ether made Christ. And uh, the, how to enter on the level of fourth ether, this, there is a rent which made Moses. And there is uh, another uh, rent between first ether and second ether which made uh, St. Paul, then he was soul and transformed into Paul through his rush energy, which bring, brought him to the, to the feet of Christ. So uh, these three rents, if you know how to use them, gives you a possibility to enter these levels and to use these energies. After that, you are tuning into them and use them into your daily life. When you are concentrating on your heart center, immediately your heart center gives you energy of second ifr, which I'm using now. You will never be angry when you are there. You're always uh, in good mood. You're always hopeful. You're always I don't know the English equivalent of that. Uh, serene. Serene, yes. Mm -hmm. Serene. Mm -hmm. No a cloud of troubles on your horizon. <laughs> and the fourth ether becomes the basic of your living, right? Yes, yes, yes. Because uh, sometimes you are leaving, you are sending these energies out. Some, mostly you are sending this energy inside, and your uh, cells, your systems, your organs become filled with this energy of. So you direct it within. You direct it within. Yeah, right? yeah. Not only inside, not only outside. You are inside that mostly, and mm -hmm. they are. They have joy from life. <laughs> That's why they are friends now, mm -hmm. because their uh, energies are not using in my activity. I am always helping them with these big energies and the cell energies. 
goes only on their own needs. Mm-hmm. I'm not dictator to I'm not dictator to their living. I'm not squeezing my heart or I'm not sending hate to in, uh, inside. Uh, so I'm not asking them to use uh, your stomach uh, to make usual day, daily living. Uh, I'm not squeezing my brain to trying to understand something or to express something. So they are my friends now. That's why, because we have this good co- communicating me inside heart energy. Mm-hmm. Second, it, which connects, it is uh, he, this law, um, the, the law which rules this level is the law uh, of Sliyania. Uh, con- con- connection, um, u- unity, unite. Y- yes, yes. Uh, Sirius, uh, may uh, we maybe uh, ask Leo, what does it practically mean, etheric living? How you can live etherically? Leo? Если можно по-русски, чтобы я вас точно понимал. Саша спрашивает, просит, может быть, ты мог бы сказать что-то по поводу того, как ты воспринимаешь эфирно наполненную жизнь. Самое яркое впечатление при переходе на эфирную жизнь это воспоминания из детства. Я выхожу на улицу, вижу солнце через листву, and see the sun shining through the leaves of the trees. Впереди у меня целый день, и я могу бегать, прыгать, скакать, и у меня сил столько, сколько сложно представить. I have an entire day ahead of me, and I have so much energy that I can run around, jump, and do whatever I can imagine I want to do. Но через какие-то 20 лет я все это потерял. А теперь обратно нашел. То есть внутренняя энергетичная, внутренняя энергетичность, внутренняя, не знаю, ну как-то так. So, etheric living is inner energized living, full with energy. Yeah. И очень хорошо заметно, когда ты что-то начинаешь выжимать из себя, а никогда через тебя протекает. And you can notice easily when you squeeze something out of yourself, making yourself to do something, versus allowing it to flow through you. Ну, наверное, в So basically, спасибо so, uh, that that is all for now. And uh, it, it is it's a very different quality of life when uh, we flow freely. And um, the energy of the soul is there. And uh, we do not have to imitate that but uh, when we realize that we're out that means it is time to 
go within, realign yourself, um, check the levels of your etheric um, balance. And uh, it's my understanding the more, the more, you know, the group is practicing it, the more precisely one can see what's lacking, what kind of energy is lacking. Are we lacking calm? Or are we lacking uh, the active, ever going energy? Or um, there is not enough uh, heart energy and we're becoming informal and we're hiding behind the words. Or um, there is not enough of this amazing connection with that moment like the um, you know people on the stadium when they win olympic games and that's the moment of the triumph so that same energy of triumph that is of a connection with a purpose and vision so it is um it is it's becoming very obvious and also it is um important to understand that when you work with children they are very sensitive to those because they haven't lost it they are very aware from where we come what we have and what we don't have and therefore um I know that uh, Sergey, you use uh, second uh, second energy when you work with the kids. Is that is that right? Yes, yes, Katya. Uh, energy connection with children is uh, is basic because you understand them immediately where they are, what they want, what what their needs and uh, you explain you uh, have them to express their ideas more properly and uh, you tune in not only their basic centers such as muadhara nahata vishudha but 21 uh, little centers knees uh, feet hands uh, eyes and so on so you are you know if you know of course how to connect them with uh, big centers, as we call chakras, uh, and uh, you tune them as a whole under guidance of their heart center. So they are this uh, heart energy connects all the collective of energies into one, and when they are unity for them it is uh, uh, very pleasant and potential uh, state of being they it is like if you uh, use a lift use a podiumnik, podiumnik, how they call it elevator or elevator yeah. for yeah. for skiing to the top of the mountain and uh, after that they are going down then they are in uh, on in the bottom of the their trip you use this uh, elevator to lift. help them to go, to lift them to the top of the mountains again and uh, then you uh, help them to do it themselves, how to potentiate their energies for the day, for special works, how to use these energies to forgive, uh, how to use these energies to prepare, to concentrate, to disconcentrate, to meditate. So the etheric being of child, of a child, is uh, main. Uh, work in his upbringing 
because when he will become uh, an adult, he forget how to live properly, how to be to be glad every moment, how to live being and now here and now every moment, and uh, he will lose the level and cannot find it again. So you help them not to forget this child level of energy, of joy, of future, of hopefulness. So this is how to make friends with not only with people, but with things, with situations, with the future, uh, and how to return into the past, get the energies from there, and put them into the now. They call it Spaminat, Spaminat. So, uh, all these esoteric uh, techniques soon become their usual way of living. It's not esoteric, it's, it's life. They know how to forgive, they know how to, um, for example, uh, how to jump. So you, if you're going into some uh, business, some work, after that you open, you give yourself a possibility to jump. That means that you are free all your energies and they regain their level. So you are squeezing yourself and you open and you are jumping like, I don't know who English the before. But... In the trampoline, yes. 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 And... and for them, no work is uh, difficult because after that they will regain uh, their life with uh, addition. Um, okay, Sirius, we need to, I mean, there. I see the questions uh, people are asking about, you know, elaborating more, but uh, the problem is that this is such a vast subject. It cannot be, like, worked through um, the, the time frame that we have. And um, now we have two groups to uh, working with us today and to see if they have any questions and maybe everybody else have any specific question um, so hope we will be able to, to so answer. if anyone from the hekal group or hamsa group have any questions please uh, raise your hands we will unmute you and then we open the floor for questions from the audience from the group And uh, while we have this moment of focusing the questions, uh, there was a uh, question, uh, the request to repeat what you, Sergei, uh, said about the ethers, first, second, third, and fourth ethers, in relations of the rendering of those veils in those ethers. Can you please repeat? Okay. Mm. You see, mm, the work with ethers is only work. No words can help us in this um, in this direction, because uh, we are using mm, mental to somehow to cope with. Uh, body of circumstances with uh, calculated ifers, which we call matter. But when we are on etheric levels, they use only metaphor. I don't know. Metaphor. Only a metaphor. Met only metaphor. And if you understand what I meaning, what I mean, you understand. If you don't, you don't. That's why um, fourth ether is the ether of uh, 
Uh, Hute uh, oh, has gold. Yeah. Also in has, English, Hüge. 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 Yes. Uh, when you are coming from the cold to the pechka, how cold? To the to oven. To the fireplace. Yeah, to the fireplace. fireplace. Yes, you immediately understand what is uh, fourth ether because uh, you are using it, this energy. Uh, you, you, you feel as energy is coming inside. You are asking it to go inside. Uh, but you don't know how to do it when you are not uh, in such, not in such contrast, uh, con mm -hmm. in such con contrast, yeah. yes? You're right, yeah. Hmm? Uh, when you are, for example, using some music uh, to uh to for you which is very joyful as one way some one way uh ticket to the moon to the blue one way ticket and when you are just sitting trying to uh to keep in a serene serenity and this music will jump inside you you mean to understand what is third ether, which goes through um, throat center? Uh, some uh, melodies uh, tune you in with uh, second ether, and uh, very rare, very rare. I know maybe three, maybe four melodies which connects you with first ether. So. Uh, I know how to use it. it was innate uh, knowledge of ethers inside me. This so I help everybody in my group to tune in with these ethers and help them to uh, uh, to, to, to master to master it. Yeah. Yes, to master these uh, ethers. Uh, how to go from one ether to other uh, inside the right inside ethers every ether has its uh, four ethers inside it uh, so we need 16 energies to know and uh, I help people of course uh, you need training you need training it, it, it's very simple very simple but if he, nobody knows how to do it, you cannot help with the words. Somebody should, uh, should, right? yeah, should show how to do it. Mm -hmm. we, have, we have questions. But thank you, Sergei. Thank you. So, uh, we have questions. Question from Australia. Richard, Rebecca. Um, yes, hello, it's Rebecca. Thank you so much. I'm really in awe of the work that your group has done and the detail of understanding that you've obviously lived and embodied by by doing this work. Um, I um, I guess my question is really, I, I don't think I can understand everything that you're saying. Um, and um, as you're explaining, it can't be understood through words, but I just wanted to sort of check some understandings that I feel like I'm trying to form from listening to you. Um, the first thing that is living with me at the moment is this idea that I've been um, reading from Treatise in White Med about the etheric being the symbol of the soul and so what I'm really feeling that that your group is using the etheric to work from the to move into that soul level um, away from the personality level um, and 
um, one of the things that strikes me is this use of this idea of the angels of the centres um, that to me this seems like in trying to approach the practical application of what you're saying that the angels identifying with the angels could be a very helpful um, step in how to access these levels that you're talking about um, that they're, they're providing that mediating um, function that the soul provides as well I'm just wanting to check whether I'm understanding anything about what you're saying correctly or not <laughs> Well, of course, you, you. Of course, it is. It is accurate, and uh, I don't know if Sergey or Leo wants to answer that as well. Yes, it is, and uh, Eddie of the Angels. I think it is brilliant because that's who they are. Those beings within those centers, and um, they, they, they are there to serve, especially. Um, it is clear when all of a sudden the group is in need and there is definitely help coming from that uh, from that being you know because sometimes i don't know i find myself sometimes in a difficult situations and i had to rely on something and so i just connected with the group's heart center um just uh, aligned and uh, all of a sudden the situation start being different because a lot of the time we deal with a situation when we are alone and we're dealing with the group situation every time we go to some you know organization or deal with any uh, representation we are dealing with the group versus one but if we are aligned with our group you know that if we keep that in alignment on a practical level, that means it is group relating to the group. It's a different connection. Mm -hmm. So that is my practical understanding of that. Thank you. I think that's Richard here. I think this is a very important conversation and just carrying on for what you're saying there, Katia. Um, certainly um, the experiences that we've had here is one where um, you can be physically really depleted for whatever reasons, end of the day, of a hard day or, or whatever. And um, you you come into alignment with the group and next thing you've got access to um, what seems to be unlimited energy. And with that comes inspiration and aspiration and this etheric livingness. And I think as we work as groups the more that we as individuals can get to experience this this reality um, the more we really know that man does not live by bread alone um, and i think that's part of our workings in this day and age is really shifting our consciousness to that etheric awareness um, and I really liked what was said earlier on about the cells of the personality and that resistance. You know, I know we we here often smile um, where um, you want to, you know, we, we here, we, we meet at least once a week. And so often before that, you'll feel all this resistance and this inertia. It's like, ah, oh, and you sort of drag yourself through the door sometimes. Um, and, bef and before that you felt fine, but at that time, we're going through past that threshold, there's that resistance. But as soon as you come into group alignment um, and you release yourself and give yourself to that alignment, again, as was said earlier on, next thing, the, the energies are flowing and it becomes a very living reality of these forces that we're working with and from, from the, uh, the ethers. So, um, yeah, thank you for this conversation. I think it's it's very important. And it's, you know, if I make a small comment so that if you start working, if you start working with the levels of energy, 
then uh, you might offset that moment of dragging. I mean, the resistance will be there, but physical depletion might not be because that um, energy would be drawn not from the cells of your body, but from uh, the levels of energy which is accessible to you. Yes, exactly. Lovely. Yes, thank you. Who's next? Thank you, Richard and Rebecca. Uh, I'm meeting okay. Lihi. Hi, Lihi. Hi, Lihi. Uh, hi, you hear me? Yes. So Lihi from Hekal from uh, Jerusalem. Yes. Yes, hi. Um, thank you all, first of all. And uh, so, guys, okay, thank you for all of your knowledge. It's It sounds uh, so wide and uh, really, uh, I, I hear you the first time and it's really um, the way you hold the wider picture is is uh, it's very inspiring. I would like to ask you, you talk about the metaphors, um, and I, I'm a I'm practical and I'm living a practical life and uh, as much because <laughs> um, and I, I I just want to ask um, what metaphor. Um, uh, do you think um, can you suggest or talk a, talk a little bit more about uh, what the best metaphors to use um, also as individuals in those days that like everything is uh, so stormy <laughs> all over the planet so uh, what metaphors can help us as individuals and also uh, as a group um what if you have something to say what we can what metaphor can help us uh, to hold to vision to put in our meditation in daily meditation thank you it's for me okay. uh, you know uh, because there are three most important countries which leads uh, humanity through difficulties of development uh, Great Britain mostly England uh, not Scotland not uh, Welsh not Northern Ireland but mostly England uh, United States and Russia uh, Russia had already made its work how to prepare a uh, usual person for intelligent life so um, uh, i think 90 percent of our youth uh, get uh, uh, gets uh, education high education college education that's why so everybody can if uh, he needs that he will so we had a lot of programs which are helping our youth to to get education parents helps a lot and there is idea to get education so uh, we we already fulfilled this task United States uh, are only beginning to come to the level then they will be fulfilling its uh, task uh, they are uh, their time will come after 30s in 30s from 30s till 40s and Great Britain uh, its time will come in 60s so uh these countries uh, are on their way to lead humanity so this is a good new new these are good news and uh, what is about humanity as a whole humanity as a whole is now under surveillance not only when they are incarnated but on the way to uh to the soul and from soul to incarnation 
So the whole big uh, Mahavan, as Indians call it, is under surveillance of new group of world service. So now we can not only uh, project with these energies of service, for example, Aquarius, not only on people who are in incarnation, but who are uh, using, uh, which are goes out, out of incar incarnation, which are waiting for incarnation. And even now there is uh, ideas how to help people uh, to help souls which are preparing for group service, how to uh, use uh, these new energies of avatar of synthesis, the spirit of peace, uh, avatar of coordination, and uh, the energies of big Capricorn to help the to prepare these people uh, to prepare no, the souls uh, mm -hmm. for their work then they will be incarnated and prepare matter for them on their way that mm -hmm. they can um, gather matter of men mental matter astral matter etheric matter on their way into incarnation much better quality for their future uh direction for their future direction yeah. in life Huh? Yes, uh, if, 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 if I can uh, translate, because there was a, you know, the part of the question was uh, on a slightly, it's a different. Он нас спросила, какую метафоры для штормовых ситуаций, она говорит, что она живет очень практическую жизнь, вот, и uh, она спрашивает, какие метафоры могут помочь для индивидуальной медитации, может быть, для групповой, во всяких сложных штормовых ситуациях, она, она сказала, что... Мы... First, first, you should know that everything goes goes okay. That situation is uh, already done, already under. No, что работа сделана, все нормально. На ситуации, Yes, first you should know that uh, situation the world is uh, is okay. But for when it is difficult for yourself, you should look on yourself from the distance of 10 years, 10, maybe 15 years. So uh, you should look at yourself from not in the moment, at that moment when you feel yourself disastrous, when you feel yourself uh, resolution and Destroyed or stormy, that was the word. Look, look at yourself from some future, from some future, and uh, all what is disastrous and unhappy, that you will seem pity, pity uh, for you uh, first. Uh, and uh, the second, you should change uh, position of your conscience from front conscience into back conscience when you are your conscience change your conscience into your back between your shoulders uh, you your heart center will immediately tune in and will help you to overcome all your disasters maybe not immediately not at once but uh, 15 minutes that everything will be okay so uh, it is methods, uh, simple methods, uh, how to overcome difficulties uh, which discoordinate your emotional body uh, and how to raise the level of your, uh, for example, if you are in difficult, emotionally in difficulties. So if you will, uh, you have some example of uh, serene living you can visualize this serene living living several times and uh, the devas which helps you in your life white deva uh, it will help you uh, with your uh, will help you with your mood 
to raise it to usual, maybe more high level. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Um, we are getting very close Thank to you. Thank you. Good to hear your voice. Very close to the uh, time allocated uh, for our webinars, 90 minutes. And we are now within the window <laughs> of the full moon uh, opportunity. And uh, I suggest we refocus to our meditation now. But before we go there, I want to ask uh, one last question. And before going that, I want to apologize to our audience that our webinar will go a little bit longer uh, to allow time for the meditation. Uh, but my question related to the suggested meditative form. I, Siryosh, uh, and Katya and Leo, I know your group works uh, with um, meditation using the power of nine people, of the group of nine. Can you please uh, give us some background about this method? And uh, we will invite us uh, after that to use this method in our meditation today using the presence and willingness of Hikal group and Hamsa group to join forming a group of nine together with our presenters. Um, the figure nine means then we are meditating nine uh, service of new group. That means that our meditation and theme of our meditation will be supported by hierarchy itself. So, for example, if uh, Einstein meditate with eight other Einsteins, uh, his theory, uh, relativity theory, he would not have protect protect it uh, or have to protect it all his life. And uh, it was only once uh, to meditate on it, and for the whole community forever it will be as a fact. So if nine will meditate something new, of course uh, Einstein was uh, initiated in physics of high degree. That's why uh, nine Einsteins means that this uh, theory will be protected by hierarchy forever. That means that if uh, nine uh, members of new group of well service meditate something, it immediately is under protection of heart of our solar logos, which of, of our planetary logos, which is hierarchy. So we need this. It's very difficult for a usual person to con collect uh, nine members of new group for his idea that's why they are fighting trying to protect his idea and in the end of, of all they failed because they need uh, group service for protection so if we will meditate now on this idea of nine and of the then on the idea that there is no such thing as conscience on level of bu buddhi, atma, manada, adi, or on etheric levels, that means that for forever this idea will be in hearts and minds of whole people of the world. So we can try. Let's meditate on figure nine. Nine people, nine members of new group. Of world service, so uh, I am I am asking Israeli group and Australian group uh, connect each other with light, love, and will to good or good will. Visualizing seven centers and asterisks.
Mm -hmm. Nine members of new group. Meditation of nine members of new group. <clears throat> Projecting this idea into the future. Okay, now refocusing our theme, new, no, new theme, that there is no such thing as conscience on etheric levels, only being or activity, and also projecting this idea into the future. Okay, okay, okay. This is why initiate knows when he works. No, he he works not because he knows. He begin to know only when he works because initiate means that he is a fairly concentrated person. So he is not working with if ifers of sense. He is always working with if ifers of centers, group centers, uh, uh, centers of hierarchy. So he is not concentrated on uh, usual matter. That's why initiate knows when he works. Wanted to ask uh, our group uh, members if anybody has any other um, subject to meditate in today. Using the power Use of nine. Anyone from Australia or Kekal group would like to contribute to raise the hands? Alan, please unmute yourself. Yes, am I unmuted? Yes. Okay. yes, I would like to project into the group space that we have created here an affirmation. May the will to love 
which we have anchored in Jerusalem, spread further into the Middle East towards unity and true peace. Yoja, please guide us. Thank you. Thank you. Uh -huh. Thank you for this theme. Uh, okay. What do you mean, Sasha? If a group in Australia has a, a theme to suggest for the meditation in this format, please do it now. Otherwise, Sergey, please lead us in closing the meditation and sounding the great invocation. Just allow a minute for the Australian group to respond if they have anything. Over to you, Sergey. We are closing twenty twenty five initiative for the many years work. And uh, now we are closing this work. They gather our attention on inner silence. And begin to sing these great words from the point of light within the mind of God, let light stream forth into the minds of men, let light descend on earth. From the point of love 
within the heart of God, let love stream forth into the hearts of men. May Christ return to earth. From the center there the will of God is known, let purpose guide the little wings of men, the purpose which the masters know and serve. From the center which we call the race of men, let the plan of love and light work out and may seal the door where evil dwells. Let light and love and power restore the plan on earth. Our time is over. Thank you for everybody for participation and help to humanity. Humanity will never forget our, our love to it. Thank you, Sergey. Thank you, Katya. Thank you, Leo. And thank you, our friends in Australia and the Hikal group in Jerusalem and thanks to everyone for joining us today and uh, please let's hold this chalice of the Aquarian energy that we gather it the energy of our intention expanding our work through the etheric living and please join our coming webinars on February 23rd, we will continue working with our focus on the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals in the cycle of Pisces. We will focus on the goal 12, sustainable consumption and production. And our next solar festival webinar in Pisces, our guest will be David Spengler, and he will invite us to the journey and reflective reflective journey and meditation on the power of tran transformative power of love and his focus will be the topic the spectrum of love much love and joy to all of us thank you stay connected <laughs>